Hello and welcome to the Late Bloomers Advice Column, a new video. I'm shirtless today to uh, sort of celebrate the success I've had on the carnivore diet. Um, in about four months, I went from weighing 206 pounds down to 168 pounds. And there's um, five points I'd like to make about the carnivore diet and how it helped me to achieve weight loss. Um, the first one is that it's super easy, uh, very simple. Um, you eat meat, salt, and water. Um, now I didn't do it 100%, uh, just meat, salt, and water from the outset. Uh, I slowly um, started eating more that way as time went on. Um, I still had a bunch of um, plant-based foods uh, in my cupboard, and so I used those up gradually, And but just predominantly each meal that I had was either fish or eggs or meat um, with salt and, and water. Um, the, other, the other point of the it being so easy that... Um, uh, you don't feel like you're starving. Um, after after a few days, all of those cravings for chips and crackers and just things to snack on all the time, that craving went away uh, about three days into the diet, which was amazing for me because that's where all of my weight gain pretty much stems from. Um, you get home from work, you get home, maybe you eat dinner, and then at night, if you're like watching TV or YouTube or whatever, you um, get these cravings to have snacks and things to munch on. And uh, those pretty much went away uh, just from having a good solid meal of eggs or fish or meat. Um, I also ate some cheese during, during this diet. Um, and then uh, the next point was that I had more energy. Um, usually, at the at the time I started the diet, I was on a a day a, a night shift, and so when I first woke up in the morning until my shift began at noon, um, I would just watch YouTube or um, just kind of uh, relax on the couch till it was time to go to work. Um, but after about a week or so. I, I felt like, gee, I've got this energy, I need to do something. And so I started um, uh, doing a trail near my home. Uh, it's, it takes about 40 minutes to get to the top of this hill and then uh, back down. So I started doing that like every other day before work. Um, and uh, I was amazed because I was doing it uh, without eating breakfast first. So I'd get up, I'd go to the um, the mountain and do the climb and I'd be done and I still felt fine, energetic. Um, didn't have any, um, any uh, like headaches or dehydration or the usual things that if you go out on a, a trail and exercise hard and you're not used to it, normally you'd feel it uh, afterwards, but I felt fine. And um, then I, I switched to the um, the day shift at, at work, and I work at a gym, um, and they allowed me to work out during the, the shift. So I started um, just doing some stair climbing uh, at the gym uh, in place of going to the hill every other day. Um, but I, I didn't do a lot of exercise, um, and... Um, I was still gradually losing weight at the start, 206 uh, pounds, and then um, uh, just just slowly, slowly the weight started coming down, uh, and it took about four months, and I lost a total of 38 pounds. And uh, a half month later, uh, after that four month start, I'm still down at 168 pounds, which is great. Um, Another point uh, about the um, the cravings, um, I was able to just stop eating breakfast. Um, I didn't try to, I just wasn't hungry when I first got up. 
And so I got in the habit of not eating until about 11 in the morning. Um, and I wake up about 3.30 in the morning to start the morning shift. Um, so it's actually, it's not very convenient to try and get a meal in at that point. Um, so I bring uh, pretty much uh, half of last night's dinner to work and have that around 11. And that's my first meal of the day. And then I'll have dinner between around four to five o'clock, maybe a little later. And then, um, yeah, I'll just, I'll pretty much just eat two meals. Uh, occasionally I'll have a snack like a string cheese or something like that um, if I feel hungry. Um, and, and that's, the, that's one of the keys is that you, you, um, the only hunger you'll feel is when you're actually hungry. It's not more of a, I want a snack. I want a, I want a chip. I want a cracker, that kind of thing. It's more like, okay, it's time to eat. And then you have an actual meal and that meal has nutrition in it <laughs> that actually satisfies you. Unlike a cracker, which all it does is give your mouth something to chew on and actually might make you more hungry. That's partly why um, restaurants feed bread before you start your meal. It's to stimulate your hunger. <laughs> um, so another thing is uh, it, it's simple. Um, I'm able to just take hamburgers, um, steaks, uh, frozen fish, and keep them all in the freezer. Uh, when I want to plan for the next day, I just take them out of the freezer in the fridge until they defrost and um, then I can use them for that day. And I pretty much just cook everything now in an air fryer. Um, like the steak takes about 20 minutes, you flip it. Um, I'll put butter into the air fryer, the bottom of the pan um, at the preheat setting. Um, and then uh, when it tells you to put the food in, you've got the melted butter there and I'll just flip the meat in, in or the fish in the butter and you're good to go. Uh, the fish only takes about seven minutes, six minutes, depending on how crispy you like it. Uh, and the steak takes about 20, if it's a nice thick ribeye, um, about a pound to a pound and a half. Um, for the size of the meal, I'll have, usually if it's fish, I'll have two small fillets. Um, if it's um, steak, I'll cut that pound to pound and a half steak in half and I'll eat that. Um, and and it's, it's also cooked in butter, so there's some extra fat there. Um, that's a very important um, part of the diet is that you have to eat fat. Um, the fat is very satiating um, as well as containing a lot of the nutrients that you need in addition to the protein from the meat. Um, one of the biggest mistakes people make with the carnivore diet is they they eat meat but they'll choose a very lean meat they'll be they'll eat turkey or chicken breast and um, there's not enough fat in that to sustain you um, so and then they'll get constipated uh, the fat is actually what since you're not eating fiber and and carbohydrate very much your um, your digestive system needs the fat to keep your stool soft so that you have normal, uh, regular um, bowel movements. Um, I uh, was pretty regular throughout the whole thing. After the first week or so, I might have had a little bit of loose stools, but other than that, I've been very regular. And one of the great side effects is that without having any fiber in your in your intestines, you don't, it doesn't sit there and ferment and cause gas and bloating. So, um, yeah, my digestion and, and bowel movements are very regular and I'm not gassy at all. Um, so that's, that's kind of, it's kind of a nice feature also of the, uh, the, uh, carnivore diet. The other thing is, um, if you're rushed for time or whatever, um, there are very fast options. Um, one of my favorite options when I haven't planned properly, say I, I didn't defrost the fish or meat or whatever in time, um, I have these uh, pre-cooked frozen burgers that you can get at Albertsons or Costco or wherever. 
Um, and they only take two minutes in the microwave and they're charbroiled burgers and they taste great. You just add a little salt and you're good to go. Um, or if you go to a fast food restaurant like Jack in the Box or McDonald's or Burger King, somewhere that serves um, burgers, uh, you just you just order them and just take the bun off and there you go, you've got your meal. Um, it is more expensive that way because you're paying for all the extra stuff, the packaging and the buns and the condiments and all that. But um, just for um, a quick meal when you're, when you're um, either out with friends or you haven't prepared properly, you can just go to Jack in the Box. I, I personally like to get um, at Jack in the Box the, um, in, the, um, the cheeseburger. It's called um, the Ultimate Cheeseburger. And they have the Ultimate Cheeseburger with bacon if you like a lot of bacon. Um, so I'll just, I'll just order that as is and take the buns off. And most of the cheese and ketchup comes off with the bun. Uh, so you're left with just some, some cheese and, and burgers, maybe a tiny bit of mustard or mayo or ketchup or something just for flavor. Um, but that's, that's a great, um, two, two patties, um, with cheese, um, good quick meal if, if you are pressed for time. Um, so that's an, another benefit is that you can you can get quick food. I mean, you could also get if you went to if you were wanted chicken, the they do have the grilled chicken option at um KFC. Um it's it's grilled and they haven't breaded it or um coated it with batter or anything like that. Um it, but again, chicken isn't the highest fat um that you can eat. So you might want to concentrate on the dark meats, such as the drumstick thigh area, instead of the breast, um, to make sure you're getting enough fat. And uh, that's that's about um, all the points I had to make. I hope this um, video was instruct uh, instructional, educational. I'm not a doctor or nutritionist, so none of this is medical or nutritional advice. Um, always research for yourself before you um, start any kind of diet and check with your um, healthcare practitioners. Um, so this has been the Late Bloomers Advice Column. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you have questions about how I did the diet or anything else, um, please leave a comment below. Thank you.